Chairman of Lagos State Parks and Garages, Musiliu Akinsoya, has announced the introduction of a barcode to check meets illegal activities among some commercial bus drivers. According to him, the initiative will curb kidnappings and other criminal activities perpetrated by some commercial bus drivers. We have details in this report. The association says the issue of insecurity is a major concern to everybody and as stakeholders in the transportation sector, the agency cannot fold its arms and allow charlatans to turn their garages and parks into criminal hideouts. For them, their goal is to leverage on technology to detect some criminal elements using parks and garages to perpetrate crimes and make sure parks and garages are safe for every commuter. Scanning boost sticker is also our own little way in assisting the government in covering the menace of kidnapping, crime, theft, and other societal issues. So, we, we are urging the public to just give us, give us the benefit of doubt on this particular project. And you now see. And we advise them not to board it. We will advise them because the, 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 the word advice is very key here. The chairman warned leaders of various parks and garages to weed out criminal-minded elements in their domains, else they will be held responsible for their actions. The firm handling the installation of the barcode said over 20,000 buses have been registered into a central database. We have a unique QR code on the sticker, which will be given to each person. And then the, the QR code will be mapped to all the vehicle registered. And then when you now put on the car or your vehicle, the commuters download the app from the Play Store or Apple uh, iOS. And then you scan. When you scan, information will be given to you that this particular vehicle is registered under the state park and garages. For the agency, the reason is for them to partner with Lagos State to help eradicate insecurity in the states. Ademola Lawrence, TVC News, Lagos.